There he was, lying in his bed, convalescing from a terrible wound that he received during the battle, reading the books about Christ and the saints. And he began to think, what could he do that would bring him onto the same way as the saints in pursuit of Christ, seeking to imitate Christ? And immediately he linked that with Jerusalem. An exceptional pilgrim. It was September the 4th, 1523, when Ignatius Lopez of Loyola first appeared in Jerusalem. It has been 500 years since that holy journey that began and ended with the holy city. He went around on a regular pilgrimage, guided by the Franciscans, living with the Franciscans, and um, within him was this burning desire to stay in the Holy Land. He received great consolation from visiting the holy places, whether it was the Cenacle, uh, he was living probably on Mount Zion with the Franciscans, or going to the Holy Sepulchre, attending Mass there, uh, walking in the processions, visiting the Mount of Olives, visiting Ein Karim, going to Bethlehem, uh, even getting to Jericho and to the Jordan River. When he finally asked permission from the Father Pustas, the Franciscan superior at the time, he was informed that it would be impossible to stay. And although this desire to be in Jerusalem, to work in Jerusalem for the good of souls, had animated him so much all through these years, uh, from 1521 to 1523, once the Custos told him no, he accepted it. And this is something that afterwards is supposed to characterize the Jesuits, their obedience to authority in the church. Returning from his pilgrimage, the Society of Jesus was approved in Rome in 1540. In Jerusalem, the ancient order founded by St. Ignatius of Loyola has been present since 1913 with the Pontifical Biblical Institute, a presence intended to be a concrete sign of the saint's desire to be in contact with the places where the Lord has remained present. And we have been present ever since uh, uh, in different activities, all related to the biblical world, uh, somehow through archaeology, and then uh, uh, being a campus these last 30 years, 40 years, a campus of the Institute in Rome for our students to come and uh, spend some time here studying. But the Society of Jesus Apostles is, is wider. We have had Jesuits uh, uh, for 40 years working in Bethlehem University. Uh, uh, some companions uh, have been working in Tantur, and there is actually one is the director of Tantur uh, these days. Uh, one is working with immigrants and teaching them English. Uh, there are some companions uh, who uh, spend a great deal of their time giving retreats or teaching in a major seminary in, in Bejala, others in spiritual guidance. 